And movie stars are being made right here in Indiana. Huntington University has its first feature-length film in the works. Fox 55's Devontae Dixon has more details about this upcoming film and what it means to the community. It's time to stock up on popcorn and get ready to add a new movie to your watch list. After three years and a pandemic, Huntington University is preparing to release its film, Wayfaring Stranger. Producer and Dean of the Arts, Lance Clark, says this will have not happened without the community's help. It's taken the entire campus community to pull this off, all different levels from the business department through uh, administration. Director and writer Matt Webb says now that we're here, it's exciting for the community to be able to see a future film come to Huntington. What I'm really excited about is building partnerships with the local community. Um, we've already been building res relationships with our alumni community and with our faculty community in Arizona and the students there. And we would love to just continue to grow a community. The movie is based on a true story set in the 1970s. A former country singer, Glenn Frank, meets a pastor in his son. He helps the family build a church and brings out the 12-year-old's musical gifts. All this while he battles his own demons. We've taken that story and uh, and told it through the lens of the, the Clark children uh, and, uh, and and recreated some of the uh, some of the story so that we could uh, view this through their lens. He says they're in talks with many streaming services so no one misses out. It's certainly an option, something like Netflix or Amazon or Hulu, one of the major streaming services. We would love to have that. That honestly, the most eyes we can get on the project, that's our that's our goal as far as distribution. We want as many people as humanly possible to be impacted. Webb says their main goal is to be a mentor and train students to perfect their craft, but also make a profit from these films so more can be made. In Huntington, Devontae Dixon, Fox 55 News. He also says they expect to finish the production around Christmas or early New Year's time.